what's happening? Not much, bro. We're here at Carrington. Yeah. A couple of questions and that. My first one is, how are you? <laughs> that you genuinely nah, says that. I'm like, all right, I'm good. Yeah. Um, yeah, just obviously preparing for the game. Um, we had a little bit more time between the games than, than some of the other games this season, so mm -hmm. I think for you know such an opponent, it's it's needed. So um, yeah, just making sure we tighten up on everything we can really. How's the season been going so far in terms of like vibes in the dressing rooms and just like team morale kind of thing? Yeah, the, the dressing room's good. Um, obviously, some games we've not been at our best and we've not got the results that we needed, but. To be honest, it brings the dressing room closer. Um, you know, we've we've stuck together, and we're going to have to stick together for the rest of the season. So it's um, it's like I said, it's not been perfect, but you know, we've we've got stuff to work towards and a long way to go in the season. So yeah, nice. That's what it's about. For you, was there ever was there ever any doubt growing up, red or blue? Nah. No. Nah, my dad would have slapped me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I, my dad was my dad was fuming with me once when I was like super young. Because Chelsea used to play in like some yellow kit, and I used to always just want, I used to like yellow or something. Mm. Used to want this kit, and my mum was always like, "Let him have it." My dad wouldn't have none of it. So yeah, nah, there was no question about that whatsoever. Could you have been a footballer? <laughs> no. If you could, if you was, what position would you play? I used to play left back. I was better when I was younger. <laughs> I was a captain. You left footed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Captain for my team, left back back yeah. in the day. Uh, as I got older. <laughs> Left back got boring. I started wanting to be a striker or something. That weren't happening. What's on the United dressing room playlist at the moment? Oh, it depends who's on. At the minute, we've got some of the Portuguese lads having a go. What's that like? In the beginning, it's rubbish. You get used to it. Mm, yeah, but sometimes you just have to plug your headphones in. Yeah. <laughs> Who are your top three favourite United players of all time? Oh, right. I can't lie, Wayne Rooney, Paul Scholes. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, Van Persie. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not many people say Van Persie. Nah, no, I just think, I don't know, he was just, I don't know. I think I got a bias thing because he was left footed as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, he's a top striker. But right? yeah, top striker. Mm. But I've got to say Scholes because I see him at the gym all the time. <laughs> Who would your top three headliners be at a festival? Any artist. Any worldwide. artist in the world. I love Lil Baby's song. Mm -hmm. Lil Baby. Um, Drake. I think Drake's not gonna miss. So, I don't know. I won't mind like some old school UK rappers, like, like a big, like, like a yeah, big mix up. BBK back in yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, <laughs> big shout, big <laughs> shout. Who's the most talented footballer you've seen in the music industry? Tom Grennan's good. Yeah. Tom Grennan's a baller. Avelino was supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. Avelino was supposed to be a bit of a baller. But he's like seven foot nine. <laughs> <coughs> what was your initiation song? Do you know what's mad? Everyone always asks me this, and I can't remember. I don't even know if I've done one. Did you not do one? Nah, because I joined mid-season, so I feel like it's more of like a pre-season thing. Like if you come on, like pre-season tour for the first time, then you do it. But all right, so all the all his teammates, if you're watching. Yeah, they're going to try and make me do you it. Need to, you need to make sure you can't him. miss the initiation. But I can't me. fully remember, to be honest. I might have done one. Who's the best singer in the United squad? Best singer? It used to be... I don't know who it is currently, actually. It used to be Alex Tellers, by far. I swear. Yeah. He what, he could actually yeah, sing? He could sing, and I think he could play instruments. Like guitar or some, some, something. Yeah, catch him on my new tune. <laughs> Coming out soon. What's your favourite United goal ever? Oh, what? Ever scored? My after B was his overhead kick. That's my favourite goal of all time. Semi got to be in it. Yeah, because I was in the stadium that day and the crowd, because they was battering us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was on top of us. And then it's just the winner at Old Trafford. Like, the timing was just mad. Just nuts. Yeah. Against City as well. Yeah. Like, yeah, mental. Keeper just stood there. Just stood there. <laughs> And the celebration as well was legendary. Yeah. What's your favourite track of all time? Favourite song of all time? Oh. My favourite artist of all time at the minute was probably Drake, like, from when he blew up. Like, I remember going to school, everyone would listen to, to, yeah. to Drake, so. Favourite album, probably Take Care. Same, um, I was going to slag you off then for not saying <laughs> H, but. It's sweet, I can't really get compared to Drake right now. 
Um, what's next for you? Ooh, um, more music, more shows. Yeah. I just released it. Oh, I'm about to release a drink that all you lot can drink. <laughs> no, no sugar, no calories, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, loads of things, just pure music, pure yeah. vibes. See my face everywhere as always. Uh, Marcus is going to get me a deal like you know, <laughs> soon. So watch out for that. I'll try. Uh, we've, we've had some injuries at left back, so you might have to roll the ears. Yo, back. listen, you can roll, you know what I mean? I can, <laughs> can do my thing. Foden's stressed when he comes against me at that left back side. You've had some amazing moments in the Manchester derby, and this season, are you ready for another one on Sunday? Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, we always, especially going into big games, you only try and think positive positive stuff so for me I'm just hoping that we have a lot of a lot of chances mm -hmm. um, you know we know that we're gonna have to defend well but if we can if we can take our chances going forward then we should be in for a good game if we do I always think these days are special because it's just these are just one-off games it don't matter how good or how bad you've been doing in the season if you beat City you know at Old Trafford yeah. then the, the fans everyone's happy that day so 100%. Uh, we'll be looking to, to try and do that. 100%, yeah. yeah. And I can't be bothered getting slagged off all Sunday <laughs> off all my mates. Most of my mates are City fans. Uh, hopefully we save you from that. Yeah, please, bro. Please. <laughs> all right, so when you're performing on stage, do you ever get nervous? No, honestly, not at all, you know. Did you in the beginning or? Mm, I came up doing my doing the grime stuff and yeah. that in it. So even when I was like 16, 17, I was always in a room full of yeah, people yeah, yeah. on the mic anyway. but. Now people think I'm lying when I say that, but I'm not, I'm not saying it trying to be a big man. I don't even yeah. I don't even understand it. I actually just don't get nervous. I'll be real. I'd feel more comfortable performing in front of like fifty thousand people than yeah. I would for like ten people. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't. It's a I weird one. Used to it now, yeah, it's a weird one. Yeah. Um, do you ever get nervous? I used to, when I was really young, um, but I, I remember my first England schoolboy game. That was the last time I was like nervous before a game and I just remember speaking to my brother after the game and it's it's like a waste it's a waste of your time like overthinking mm -hmm. a situation when like you've been doing it for, yeah. for years so you know to overcomplicate a situation it just don't make sense to me now. This year I won a Brit, you won a Carabao Cup, what are we winning next year? Um, I think for us at the minute as a team it's just about improving on the last season so um, Hopefully we can win more trophies, but we have to put ourselves in them positions. So, unfortunately, it's been a very sad week with the passing of Sir Bobby. Mm. Uh, have you got any memories or stories about him that you'd like to share? Um, yeah, it's been obviously a difficult week for, especially you know the, the club and, and Sir Bobby's family. Um, but yeah, for for me, he's, he's always been a obviously an unbelievable talented footballer. But he's, he's such a great person and um, he's always supported United and, and followed United ever since he, he stopped playing for the club. So um, he's, he's, he's been part of, especially being in the academy, he's always been close to us and there would have been random times when I was younger and playing games on the training pitch out here that he'd just come, on, come over and watch and um, he's, because of that he's always been connected with the club and he's never really been too far away and um, like I said he's up until I think maybe lockdown he's come to every single home game mm -hmm. as many away games as he can and um, you know it doesn't go unnoticed for, for the players and even for the lads that come in they all they all know who he is and they all you know have a a lot of respect for him um, so yeah we, 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 we've always appreciated him and I think you know to, to win against against City will we'll, we'll be massive for I know his family are big supporters of the club, so it would be massive for his family and um, would have been something that he would have been here for and, and wanted us to do so. Um, I think for us as a club now it's just about you know honouring him and you know respecting all that he's done for the club and um, you know and I know that for many of us here we'll, we'll never forget him and you know it's important that we, we make sure his legacy continues. Even in when you signed the academy contracts, he was he was there sometimes, and um, just little stuff like that that not everybody knows from the outside. But um, especially, like I said, especially if you're from the academy, you're aware of his his presence around around the the football club. And um, when you're in the first team, it might seem a little bit less. But obviously, when when I was younger, like I said, I, I have countless memories of him just 
and popping up mm -hmm. um, and you just see him wearing his his hat um, and sometimes on the coldest of days he'd, he'd still be there and um, yeah it's that type of support that never leaves the memory of people from from the club that are close to the club so um, yeah like I said it's a, obviously been a sad week um, but yeah we want to pay as many respects to him as, as we can. Mm -hmm. Right, that's a wrap, Sky Sports. The camera just broke a minute and while it was off camera, Marcus said that my album was actually his favourite <laughs> album. Um, but yeah, Derby Day, Sunday, free for Good luck, by the way. Good to see you. You won't need good luck, don't worry. Marcus going free. Um, and yeah, Sky Sports, love.